Good afternoon, Chair Gonzalez, Chair Tremonti, and honorable members of the Joint Committee of Public Safety and Homeland Security. My name is Nikki Louie, and I am a paralegal and policy associate with Prisoners Legal Services of Massachusetts. Thank you for this opportunity to testify today and for hearing the testimony of so many incarcerated people. I am here today in support of S-1541, an act to strengthen visitation rights of incarcerated people, and H-2314, an act to strengthen family and community connection with incarcerated people. Decades of research show that contact between incarcerated people and their loved ones positively impacts public safety by supporting the mental well-being of incarcerated people in reducing reconviction upon release. The DOC publicly recognizes the importance of quality connection between incarcerated people and their loved ones. However, recent policies seem to promote harmful and invasive procedure that procedures that continue to build barriers. In March 2018, the DOC implemented a visitation pre-approval process that is only acted to separate incarcerated people from their community support rather than facilitate connection. Since the implementation, visits declined 26% in the first year and have not increased in the following year per DOC's most recent visitation reports. This bill establishes parameters for visitation that dismantle current harsh restrictions in favor of maximizing the access incarcerated people have to their loved ones. It increases the frequency of visits, eliminates the limit on unique number of individuals eligible to visit an incarcerated person, and ensures that the pre-approval process is reasonable, non-intrusive, and considerate of an individual's personal demographics. It is already a tremendous hardship for many to maintain healthy relationships with their loved ones due to practical barriers such as traveling distance, yet families and community supporters now face lengthy processing periods, often invasive searches and exclusion that prevent them from truly focusing on family interaction. These restrictions also disproportionately affect our highly impacted black and brown communities and greatly impact parent-child relations. The disparities often have ripple effects that can result in mental health struggles, trauma, and behavioral issues for both children and incarcerated parents, leading to less stable support systems and disrupting entire communities. We must allow our most isolated and traumatized population the right and opportunity to strengthen their relationships. Now is the time to continue the trend of maximizing contact between incarcerated people and their loved ones to build healthier, stronger, and safer communities. PLS urges you to report S1541 and H2314 out favorably. Thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you very much for your eloquent testimony. Are, are you uh, planning to be an attorney? I hope so. so. All yes. right. <laughs> I look forward to it. We're planning this. <laughs> I just saw a posting over there late, uh, recently. Best wishes. Uh, 